Well, it's time for another episode of the Celtics ruining my life. Before we even get to the Luka buzzer beater, the Celtics did something really dumb, if you weren't watching, where there was like seven seconds left on the shot clock or whatever, and then they intentionally fouled because they had one to give. I don't know, to blame Yudoka, to blame Marcus Smart, whatever. But now that allowed Dallas to get the last shot. It also allowed them to, you know, kind of reset the play, and it gives gives Luka a chance to kind of, you know, reset, whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm saying, okay? I'm distraught because of this. I was setting myself up for three Celtics wins in a row, especially after that great game they had against the Heat. And now, my night is ruined. Now let me show you what I mean by this foul. So Marcus commits it right there. It looked intentional. If they don't do that, Luka has about, what, four seconds to make a play? And he could still do it, but it's a lot different than him having the full 11 seconds to then plan where he's going to go and what defender he's going to go at and all that stuff, you know? The other thing, too, is it didn't give the Celtics an opportunity to then take a shot of their own. And this is from Jay King. Uh, Yudoka said they were not supposed to foul. It was a mistake. Marcus used the foul to give. Um, Yudoka's putting it on himself because he didn't tell everybody, but you'd think Marcus would just know not to do that. And so, yeah, I'm sure Celtics internet will be uh, set on fire with that for a couple days. Besides that, I mean, it's normal Luka. I know Celtics fans will get really beat up over the last couple minutes, as they should. I am too. But they were still down like 20 points or something in this game. And a lot of it was because Luka just kind of had free reign to do whatever. Like, you go into the switching defense, that's just not enough against him. Now, if there are some things to be positive about, the biggest one is Tatum had his best game of the year. And wouldn't you know it, it's shots that he's been missing that he finally just stopped missing. Also, it helps when Przingis doesn't step up at all on the screen. But I think they also tapped into something with these uh, Tatum Time Lord handoffs that allow Tatum to get downhill rather than him isoing or doing his post-up things on the elbow. It's also good that he's handling the contact a little better. Now, Przingis also played well, and that's huge for Dallas. This is a nice little creative off-ball set rather than just giving it to him in the post and hoping he makes some 12-foot fadeaway or whatever. Whose fault is this one? Is it Time Lords? Is it Smarts for not sliding over? I feel like it would be Time Lords just because Powell's not the threat to shoot. But I'm also not a coach. Now we do get a Porzingis post-up, although Tatum bit on the pump fake. And then here we get him uh, diving to the rim. I don't know what this is. I'm done.